Hello, I'm Kristen Volk and welcome to UPI White House Weekly on this Thursday, July 23rd, 2009. President Obama used a primetime news conference last night to try to win support for health care reform. He argued that the American economy cannot be rebuilt without overhauling the nation's system and said without congressional action on the issue, we won't be able to control our deficit. Obama's been on a media blitz recently to keep pressure on Congress to advance legislation before leaving for an August summer recess. But Republicans and some Democrats don't support his plan and say the cost of reform would only add to our country's deficit. Also in his news conference last night, President Obama said the Cambridge, Massachusetts police, quote, acted stupidly in arresting prominent black Harvard professor Henry Louis Gates Jr. last week. Gates, whom Obama calls a friend, was taken into police custody while trying to enter his home. Officers suspected a possible break-in, but later charged the professor with disorderly conduct. Obama said last night that he didn't know all the facts of the case, but said the incident shows how race remains a factor in society. The charges against Gates have since been dropped. And President Obama said the U.S. is on schedule in withdrawing military forces from Iraq by the year 2011. He made the statement in a joint press conference with Iraqi Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki at the White House this week. Obama said he's very encouraged by Iraq's progress, but acknowledged that there will be some tough days ahead. Maliki added that his government will work hard to not allow sectarian behavior to flourish. And Obama commemorated the 40th anniversary of the moon landing this week, flanked by the astronauts who made history. In an Oval Office ceremony, the president hailed Buzz Aldrin, Michael Collins, and Neil Armstrong as three genuine American heroes and said their work sparked innovation, entrepreneurship, and creativity back on Earth. The Apollo 11 crew has visited the White House every five years and met with every president since Richard Nixon, except Gerald Ford. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching this UPI White House Weekly. For more on these stories and all of the day's news, go to UPI.com.